Extreme weather events compounded by climate change caused the death of two million people between 1970 and 2021. Can you offer a shred of evidence that more than two million people died from converting to clean energy? I can offer clear evidence that the number of climate disaster related deaths is down by 98 percent over the last century. The number of people who died of hurricanes, tornadoes, heat waves and other waves and other weather related events in 1920 for every 100 that died then two die today. And the reason why is more plentiful, abundant access to fossil fuels and technology powered by fossil fuels. I can also tell you today, it is a hard fact, none of these things are disputed. Eight times as many people die of cold temperatures than die of warm ones. The right answer to all temperature-related deaths is more plentiful, abundant access to fossil fuels. The Earth is covered by more green surface area today than it was half a century or a century ago because carbon dioxide is plant food. And but, carbon dioxide as a percentage of the atmosphere is still at a relative but, low through human say, history. Those are just, hard facts. And I think we have to acknowledge those facts when having this debate. Well, there's a hard fact of the hurricane that is now approaching. The mayor, a three-generation St. Petersburg resident, says he's never seen anything like this, the, the ocean warming. But let me move on to some... Andrea, may, may I respectfully offer a response to that? And, and I mean this with due respect. If someone on the other side were an uneducated person from Arkansas who didn't go to college and offered one weather event as an end of one anecdote to help support well, the theory of global climate change, you'd laugh off, off the stage as a rube for saying they don't follow data. The same well, shoe has to fit the other foot. Follow the actual about, data. I'm not talking about one person's opinion. We, we talk to professors, academics. You literally just uh, quoted one person's people. opinion with due respect. That's exactly what you just quoted. And I think that that's what's driving okay. this kind of false narrative as opposed to the facts that I'm citing. Well,